for those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss Ashley. Um, I am the preschool director for our 1030 service. Um, and I just wanted to kind of do a quick video, check in with you guys, see how you're doing, let you know I miss you guys so much. Um, I've actually started missing Baby Shark. Can you believe it? That means I really miss you a lot. Um, but I wanted to check in and just kind of see how you guys are doing. Um, you know, I know things are a little different right now. I'm out at my mom and dad's house right now, um, which is kind of nice. I kind of like coming out here. It's really pretty. You see all the trees behind me. Um, but I wanted to check in with you guys and just kind of see how you're doing. Um, you know, things are different right now and we're not able to meet for church like we usually do. Um, I have really enjoyed being able to see some of my babies um, whenever we go to the drive-in service. I've seen some of you sticking your heads out the sunroof and it makes me so happy. It makes me miss you guys so much. Um, but I was thinking about what I do. It's easy to get scared at a time like this because we don't really know what's going to happen and we don't really know whenever things are going to go back to normal. Um, and you know, I was thinking about it. You know, the Bible tells us 365 times, don't be afraid. Um, that's like as many days as there are in a year. Can you believe that? Um, and so I was trying to think because it's really easy to get scared and Miss Ashley gets scared sometimes. I get scared, um, if I see a snake, do not like snakes, snakes scare me. Um, but I was trying to think, what do I do whenever I get scared? And you know, the Bible says whenever we get scared that we're supposed to pray and that's what God is there for. He's there. He knows all of our fears. Even whenever we're not quite sure what we're scared about. Um, or what we're supposed to do. God knows all of our fears and we pray to him because that's our way of um, giving those things to God and trusting him with it because he is so much more capable than we are of taking care of that and taking those fears away from us. And so there's a lot of people that we pray for, you know, we pray for our families, we pray for our friends. And so I was trying to think, what is a way that we can kind of keep that, um, remember who we're wanting to pray for, because sometimes I don't know about you, but if Miss Ashley doesn't write my prayers down, sometimes I get kind of, um, distracted and I really want to give God my best whenever I'm praying because that's my time to talk to him. Um, and so I was thinking about it and I was looking and, and trying to find different ways. And I found this really cool thing and I wanted to share it with you guys. And we're going to actually put a link, um, to a page that you can use on this video. Um, so your parents can print it out or you guys can actually make your own handprints. That would be really cool. And if you do, I would love to see them. Um, but I want you to hold your hand up, okay? So we have five fingers, right? So Miss Ashley's hand is right beside me right now. Which finger is closest to me? My thumb. So. When you look at your thumb, I want you to think about the people who are closest to you. That can be your moms and dads. It can be um, your grandparents. It can be your brothers and sisters. Um, even when they get on our nerves, we still want to pray for them. Um, so I want you to think about that. Whenever, whenever you hold your thumb up, who is the person closest to you? And I want you to pray for that person. Um, now, your pointer finger, okay, that's how we give directions, right? If I say, go that way, I'm going to use this finger, okay? So, I want you to pray for somebody who gives you direction. It could be your teachers at school. Um, it could be your coaches if you play baseball or t-ball. Um, but I want you to pray for people who give you direction because they're having a hard time right now, too. Um, now, your middle finger, that's the tallest finger on your hand. So with that finger, I want you to pray for our leaders because they're at the head of our country, our presidents, um, you know, government, people in our government, our police officers, um, you know, they're, they have a really hard job right now. So I want you to pray for them. Um, now your ring finger, that's your weakest finger on your hand. Did you know that? I didn't know that, but I tried to pick something up with my ring finger. It didn't work so well. So I want you, whenever you look at your ring finger, I want you to pray for the weak and the sick and, you know, um, maybe the homeless, somebody, somebody that has a really hard time right now that's, that's really struggling. Um, I want you to pray for them. And then your pinky, 
on your pinky, that is your smallest finger. So with that, I want you to pray for yourself because you know what? God knows that we need something too. God knows that we have needs that, um, whether it's that we're scared or whether it's that we're confused, um, and it's okay to, to take those things to God. He loves us, and that's, that's what he wants us to do. So I want you to try that. And um, like I said, the, the page is going to be put in the link on this video, um, so you can print it out and write it out if you want. Or like I said, that would be a really good project for you guys to do at home while you're at home right now with your moms and dads or um, whoever you stay with. Trace your own hands. We do that lots and lots of times in preschool. We trace our own hands and we stamp our hands and use that, um, you know, to write out who you want to pray for. And um, like I said, Miss Ashley would love to see them. And I want you guys to know that I love you. Um, I miss you. I cannot wait until we're able to get together again. And um, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. So we'll see you soon.